if it was my last day on earth, I wouldn't be in church. I'm sorry, God, but it's my last day in this universe. I need to see birds and buzzing bees, green grass, evergreen trees. I'm seeing people who have been mean to me, and why would I waste my time? Let's see how to recreate this animated music video and add lyrics to it. Visit Animaker.com and sign up for a new account. From the dashboard, select the following options to create a new blank project. This is the interface of the Animaker application. In the center is the workspace. On the right hand side is the scenes section. Scenes are similar to what you call slides in a presentation. Similar to how several slides come in to form a presentation, several scenes come in to form a video. On the bottom is the timeline. By default, the animation timeline will be open. You also have a video and audio timeline. And the last one is the camera timeline. On the left hand side is the library. It has different elements like animated characters, properties and music tracks that you will need to create the animation video. And the best thing is all these assets are copyright free. As the first step, let's upload the song for which we want to create the animated video. Go to the upload section present at the bottom of the library and upload the music track. Now click on the uploaded track to add it to the project. I have the lyrics of the song in a word document. We can use this and add the lyric to the video. We are going to break this song into smaller parts and create the video. In the first scene, I want to create visuals for the words if it was my last day on earth. In the second scene, we will be creating the visual till the words it's mine. Similarly, we will be breaking the lyrics into smaller parts and creating the visuals for it. You can see that the scene's duration is 10 seconds, but as I said earlier, we are going to create visuals till the word earth in the first scene. So let's hear the music and reduce the duration of the scene. If it was my last day on earth, I would Since the words last day on earth ends around the 4th second, our first scene should also be around 4 seconds in length. To increase or decrease the duration of a scene, you can use the plus and minus options present at the bottom of the timeline. Let's reduce the scene's duration to 4 seconds. As the next step, we are going to add a character to the scene. Go to the characters section in the library. You have two options to add a character. Either you can use a character from the library or you can build a custom character. To build a custom character, open the My Character section and click on the Create Your Own option. The Character Builder tool will open in a new window. Select the type of character and start building it. You can customize every part of the character. You can create billions of unique characters using all these options. Once done, save the character and get back to the project. You can find the newly created character under the My Characters section. Click on the character to add it to the video. On the right hand side, you can notice the Actions tab. It has more than 500 actions that can be applied to the character. I want him to look like he is admitted to the hospital and scared for his life so that the visual will match the lyric. So let's search for the action. As the next step, I want to add a background to the scene. Let's go to the background section and search for a background. Let's open the image results. Once you click on the image, it will get added to the workspace. Along with the image, you can see a set of options. This is called the item menu. Every element added to the workspace will have an item menu of its own. Let's use the option set as background under the item menu to apply this image as background to the scene. Let's add the text to the scene. To add text, go to the text section in the library and click on one of the text boxes. Now type the text. I am going to copy and paste the lyrics inside the text box. On the right side, under the settings tab, you have options to edit the text. Let's change the font style, font size and then the font color. On the timeline, you can notice a purple colored bar. It represents the duration for which this text is going to be visible. You can notice this purple bar for any kind of object which includes characters, properties that is added to the workspace. You can control the visibility of the object using this purple colored bar. For example, I am going to move the edges of the bar and keep it between the specific duration so the text will be visible only during this duration where you have kept it. You can also add enter and exit animation effects to the text. To add enter animation effect, select the enter effect option present at the bottom of the settings tab. 
Now select the effect you want. On the timeline you can notice a pink color part. You can control the duration of the animation effect using this pink part in the timeline. Let's add the second text to the scene. As the last step to the scene, let's add the camera effect. Switch to the camera timeline. Here you have two different options. To apply effects, select the dynamic camera effect. On the timeline, you can see a pink colored part. It indicates the duration for which this camera effect is applied. Let me apply the effect throughout the duration of the scene. Now adjust the camera's position in the workspace and keep it where you want it to be focused. Let's have a look at what we have created till now. If it was my last day on earth. Let's add the new scene and create the visuals for the next line of lyrics. Let's reduce the duration of the scene. This time I want to reduce the scene's duration much more precisely. For that, open the video timeline and drag the edge of the scene and reduce the duration. Let's add the background. I want a background that looks like a church. So I'm gonna search for the word church in the background section. Let's add a character to the scene. I want to give a running action to the character. Right now the character is moving in the same place. To make a character move between different points, we have to use an option called smart move. You can find the smart move option under the item menu. I want the character to enter the scene from the left and exit on the right hand side. So I'm going to position the character in the same way. On the timeline you can notice two points. They represent the time the character will take to move between the two points. Adjust its position on the timeline to make the movement look natural. As the next step, let's add the text to the video and add the lyrics. Instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to copy the text from the previous scene by selecting the text and pressing Command C. As I'm using Mac, you can press Ctrl C if you're using Windows and copy the text. And get back to the current scene and paste it by pressing Command V or Ctrl V based upon the type of operating system you use. Now you can just edit the text alone. We don't have to adjust the font style or size or effects applied to it. Let's add the camera effect to the scene and preview it. I wouldn't be in church. I'm sorry God, but it's my We have completed the scene number 2. Let's add the next scene. Let's have a preview of the audio and adjust the duration of the scene. Let me add a background to the scene. I want a space like background for the scene. Let's enlarge the background using the resize option present in the item menu of the background. Let's add the character and select an action in which he looks like meditating. I want him to be sitting above the earth. Go to the properties section and search for the word earth. As the final step, let's add the text and the camera effect. Last day in this universe, I need to see. This is how you can use the different objects from the property section and make your videos look better. I'm going to create the next scene. It is very similar to the previous scene, so I'm gonna fast forward the video for this part. I'm adjusting the scene duration, adding a background that looks like a forest, adding the character to the scene, and animating it using the smart move option. And finally, I'm adding the text. For this scene, I want to add a bee that looks like flying. So I'm going to the properties section and searching for a bee. Let's use the smart move and make it look like flying.
Right now you can see that the bee is moving in a straight path along this dotted line. It would be better if it moves in a curved path, right? To make that happen, keep the pointer over the path. You can see that the color changes from white to orange. Now click and drag the path as you want the bee to be moving. Give apply. So that is how you can make an object move in curved path. Let's add the camera effect and take a look at the scene. That's it, we have completed the scene number 4. The creation of last scene is very similar to the previous scenes, so I am fast forwarding the creation part of it. We have completed all the scenes. To have a preview of all the scenes together, use the preview option at the top. If it was my last day on earth, I wouldn't be in church. I'm sorry God, but it's my last day in this universe. I need to see birds and buzz and bees, green grass, evergreen trees. I'm seeing people who have been mean to me, and why would I waste my time? To download the video, go to the publish option at the top. Click on the download video option and then the download option. So that is how you can create an animated music video using Animaker. Are you excited to create your animated music video? Use the link in the description and start right away.